PayPal. Let's continue on from the last video where we were thinking of a Boolean algebra, um, which is the power set on a set of size 3. And we're thinking of it as a ring and looking at a quotient of it. It was a ring with respect to um, an addition, which I'm notating this way, but it's a symmetric difference between two sets. And also we have a multiplication structure, the meet or the intersection here. And um, this is subset code. So this was, uh, so 100 zero, zero is a subset. It's a, it has just one element in it, the first element out of three. And um, all subsets of it, this is an ideal. Okay, we're taking a quotient and looking at it. Now, in this video here, we're going to be think, looking at um, how we can think about B as being a different uh, ring. Namely, it's the exact same set, but different operations, addition and mul multiplication. The way we're going to do that is we're going to take these guys and use them in um, another Boolean algebra. B op. This is the dual post set. If you will, you swap all the arrows, um, the inclusion arrows from of subsets, and uh, we have, um, if we take an element, so that would be a subset, rather, a subset of, of S, okay, which is an element of the Boolean algebra, an element of the power set, you take it, take its complement. Um, remember, B op, the dual post set, is the exact same thing as B, but all the arrows are reversed. So um, x complement is an element in here, as well as x um, itself. But when you do this, um, so when you take complements, arrows are actually, um, uh, so arrows are reversed usually if you stay in B. But if you go to B up, uh, the arrow structure is preserved. So this is actually an isomorphism. Um, so we actually have that B itself is isomorphic to its dual post set with this um, um, with this mapping where x going to the complement. So if you flip everything down you know with complements and then you switch the arrows, you're back to just a regular the same structure. And within that structure, in that isomorphic structure, um, if you apply uh, these guys in terms of the arrows here, which are different because they're reversed from here, um, you have a nice ring all of a sudden. But if you use that ring structure on the exact same elements of B, but just kind of thinking of them being over here, you get two nice operations. These operations aren't the same as this because it, they're the, these operations in this ring, but, tra but viewed with the elements of B. So essentially, we're going to get two different operations. I mean, I mean how, how does it transfer back? Well, taking complements kind of swap, turns everything around. I mean, this uh, meet here, actually, uh, if you bring it back over, is going to be a join. So joins are actually going to be the multiplication now in B. This is another operation. And what about the addition operation? How can we swap it from being like this to, to something else um, uh, by swapping everything around? It's simply just taking the complement. I mean, really, it's just these operations. Just the, it's just you know this operation and the complement of it. So perform this operation, then perform a complement, and you will get this guy, okay? And these, and uh, thinking about um, a meet between two different things is the same thing as the join between two different complements. So, I mean, if you want to take a complement of that, so by De, Mor by De Morgan's Law, or how everything kind of swaps around. So we end up getting... Um, uh, the fact that we can actually think about this Boolean algebra in terms of this. Now, ideals with everything flip-flopped are actually going to be um, um, everything that contains a set, so going upward to the top. Um, in fact, this quotient right here is the exact same thing as this quotient um, if we're thinking in terms of these operations right here um, for the ring structure. You see how, well, wait a minute, this guy and this guy are complements. All right, they're complements. 
And let's just practice this for a minute to kind of get a feel for exactly what's happening, okay, and what are the chunks and so forth. Well, what in the world does this mean? So in the power set structure, this means 0, 1, 1, and what's above it, which is 1, 1, 1. So this is a chunk. Now let's look at different shifts of this using this operation. Hmm. Now remember what this operation was. We could think of it as just regular mod 2 addition between these uh, subset code um, entries. Um, and this guy, we're going to do the exact same thing, but then, uh, so we're going to do the exact same thing, but then take the complement of that, of, of that result. So, <clears throat> for instance, okay, let's take something that's not in here, like 0, 1, 0. Okay, 0, 1, 0 is not in there. All right. So let's just apply this, okay, operation to that. How would that work? Okay. So if you add this to this, let's first just do this. Let's just first do this in stages. Got 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. If you add those two guys together, just regular mod to arithmetic, you get 1, 0, 1. But then we're going to invert that or complement it. So swap all the zeros and ones. And so that's going to end up giving us, if we do that, swapping those 0, 1, 0. Right, that guy right there. Okay, so then we perform the same thing, this guy to that guy right there. Let's see what that is. 0, 1, 1, and 0, 1, 0. Okay, so add mod 2, we get 0, 0, 1, but then flip-flop, invert, swap, swap zeros and 1s, and we get 1, 1, 0. That's another chunk, so we got those two chunks. And we continue this process. Let's take this. So this guy right here, this is interesting. This guy, let's kind of review, remember what this is. This is an ideal with respect to these operations. This is like the subgroup that we're modding out by um, with respect. So it's like an upward thing instead of a downward thing over here. All right, so let's do this again. Pick something we haven't, haven't uh, don't have yet. Well, you don't have 0, 0, 1, so let's just shift everything by 0, 0, 1 in here in this ideal. And uh, so we think, okay, so we're adding mod 2, this to that, we can think 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, we add mod 2, 1, 1, 0, but then we flip-flop, remember? That's what this operation means. So we have 0, 0, 1. Now we do the same thing to the bottom guy right there. So um, we have zero, oh, excuse me here. Uh, yeah, so we have zero, one, one. And then we have zero, zero, one. We add those mod two, zero, one, zero. But then we flip flop. So we have uh, one, zero, one. Okay, notice we get two new things that we don't have yet. What don't we have? So let's think of something we don't have yet, which is, I'm not seeing 100 zero, zero anywhere. Okay, so next, let's do the same operation where we take this and let's add by uh, 100. Zero, zero. So doing that, you can kind of think, so 100 zero, zero plus this guy, I think mod 2 arithmetic, the zeros aren't going to just, it's going to be 1, 1, but the 1 and 1 is going to Add to zero, so you can have zero one one, but you flip that to be one zero zero, ah, which is what we have there. That's kind of nice, because uh, what we're shifting by actually ends up being within that chunk. You notice each time, especially since interesting, this guy's actually the zero element of this boolean algebra with respect to this operation. Zero and one have swapped places. Wow. I mean, yeah, it's it really swaps in a lot of different ways. That's like the zero um, additively. It's not the empty set that's zero anymore. It's one, one, one with respect to this operation. Okay, so let's try this again. So one, zero, zero, let's add to that guy. So if we did that mod to arithmetic, we're gonna get one, one, one. And we swap it all. What do we get? Zero, zero, zero. Okay, we have them all. We have everything. It chunks up. It might be interesting to note, note that we get the exact same chunks that we did before with this guy. Wait a minute, this is the same chunking as this? Yes, it is, and they both preserve, these chunkings both preserve 
union and join. I mean, well, union, which is join, and um, intersection, which is meet. You know, nice operations are preserved. But basically, we get the same chunking, whether we look at this or this. And this operation or that operation have the exact same cosets. Um, they're just kind of flip-flopped around. And which one is the zero versus the coset um, versus the, the top coset? You know, it kind of swaps places. We can take a little look, look at this picture again. So really, this guy is going to be like the zero element of the um, the additive group now, expect to that operation, instead of this one, which it was before. But notice the chunks are the exact same. Thanks for watching.